up fam Here's another sketch tip for y'all if you uh, if you want to use craft library which is a plugin from Envision for sketch um, you'll want to go to the uh, Envision site let me just go to that right now Envision app and then uh, you probably want to I don't know I'm going to scroll around here there's the labs. Craft UI design plugins. There we go. You want to download this plugin. After you're done that and you install it, you'll get a little menu guy up here. That's what it looks like. There's two parts to this. There's like a craft manager, which is like that lame Adobe manager, but it's for craft, which is awesome. And what you'll want to do is uh, you'll want to install craft from here and this is how you'll update it so both the manager can update and craft will update and then you turn on what you want um, if you want to update it you can go into preferences and you can like check for updates and it's going to do that and it's like oh word you're, you're good to go um, <clears throat> so that's that so you want to do that and get craft installed and then switch to sketch and if craft here doesn't show up this little guy right here You'll want to go under plugins and say toggle craft. I've assigned a key, hotkey for it because sometimes it gets messed up and it disappears, but I like to like get it back with that. Also, by default, the toggle craft um, key command is the same one as the Scala preview um, plugin to use Scala view, um, and that's kind of like a bummer because um, they'll both be command P. Anyways, um, <clears throat> Craft has a bunch of cool tools. You can use this sync thing, which is beta, which we're not going to talk about today. You can use this, you know, making headlines and all sorts of stuff uh, from like web stuff, like data or JSON data if you got it, or custom names or headlines, stuff like that. You can use Duplicator to like duplicate some stuff, which is neat. But we're going to talk about installing a Craft library. So we use Craft libraries here at work, and I'm just going to show you. This is the library tool. Um, there's like this is a little info button. This is a search guy. This is a folder, and this is um, an edit button. And if you don't have a library installed, you're going to want to install one, um, maybe that somebody's made. So um, you just go to import library, and then what you'll want to do is find a library folder. Usually, it's the library name dot library. You don't want to select the stuff inside it, but you just want to select, you know, this portion here. I'm just going to hit open, and this is just like a dummy library that I've made just to try stuff um, in Craft Library. Um, but this allows you to like grab buttons that you might make. So you've got my trusty Pizza Me Bro um, button and a Taco Me Bro button because I'm pro taco and pro pizza. I have like this little navigation bar that I made. And this other thing, I don't know what this was, I don't care. Um, but that's how you load a, a craft library. And then to use a craft library, you just basically drag stuff out, um, which is cool. Um, if you maintain a craft library, you can um, make changes to this, you know, this button in a really easy way. So this button right now, this is a symbol, um, which is uh, pretty powerful in Sketch. You can click in there to like edit the symbol. So, because this is a pizza button, I'm gonna make it very pizza-y, and I'm gonna round the corners too because I think that that looks cool. I'm into cool things. You should be too. And so now my Pizza Me Bro button looks like this, but you can see here that my button is actually still black. And if I want to update this, the one thing I can do is I can click on this once, and then on button I can hit this swap and now all my pizza me bro buttons are going to be red just like that um, which is pretty cool um, so that's neat also if you've never used symbols in sketch um, I'll talk about them quickly for a minute now these are all symbols they're all the same button but what you'll notice here on the right hand side in the button properties is that Pizza Me Bro is actually what they call an override, and so I could actually say Taco Me Bro, 
and now this button, even though it's the same symbol as all of these, will have a text override that is specific to this button. And so I could do that to anything else. So that one says Burger Me Bro. Um, now obviously if I go into here and I change the color of this button, it will change all the colors of the buttons because that's how symbols work. But you could, in theory, you know, detach this from the symbol and if you wanted to make a second button with a different color, you could do that. And that's it. And if I wanted to update this, I would just select this and then I would update the button again. And there we go. Um, the only thing that happened there is that I actually lost my override, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so that might be a bug. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's how you get a craft library in. It's loosely how you use a craft library. Um, if you ever want to delete anything from your library, you can use the edit button to delete things or you know, move them down to new categories. Oops, I can't move that to that category because uh, that's a color category. Um, you can make new categories. You can make a category that's for layers, for colors, or for textiles. So if I want to make uh, buttons, oops, buttons category and there are layers, I could do that. And so while I'm in all categories, I could edit and I could be like, oh, yo, I'm going to take buttons and I'm going to put it in there. Um, these are colors and then I can make a category for navigation bars or for whatever I want and that's that. I can also delete stuff from here and delete different things. So don't keep it in edit mode. It's kind of a pain in the butt. That's it. See ya.